All right, welcome back to the second keynote speech. I'm going to pass the stage to Professor Tanara Tiramana Kong. Please come to the stage. Thank you very much. Yes, so this is uh, the second keynote speech I, by Professor Dr. Vilas Solanapali. Uh, Dr. Vilas Solanapali is now with the SWAP Information, Computer and Communication Technology, City Town Digital University of Technology, Thomas University. Uh, Dr. Vilas received his bachelor's degree and master's degree in engineering from Kyoto University and doctoral degree in computer science from Tokyo University of Technology. From uh, 1990 to 2014, he was a principal researcher of National Electric and Computer Technology Center on Electric Thailand. Currently, he is a professor at Silicon Technology of Technology or SIT, and um, he part a lot of work up to now. So, one uh, of that is uh, some that is uh, Asian Outstanding Engineering Achievement Award in 2011 from Asian Federation of Engineering Organization or AFEO. Okay, this is a very big uh, award. And also, he received a consolation prize for software and device for supporting um, the disabled and paralysis impaired, impaired person using computer or from National Research Council of Thailand for innovation in science technology and industrial section in 2005. But the very big one oh, is the most outstanding recession of the year 2003. So it got a quite a long time ago. So have a lot of works up to now from National Research Council of Thailand. And also the Consolidation Prize Thai Tech to Speed Engine Award by National Research Council of Thailand. So he has many, many uh, research and also innovation up to now and come up in the a lot of newspaper you can see his face and he's also the author of uh, many journal paper and more than 100 conference paper his address is in national processing human technology information table data mining ai machine learning and several yeah, related applications uh, yeah, he also the one that I recommend that is one of five person to found <laughs> in Thailand. And this, today, the talk is talk you to 29 years journey of Thai NLP. So you can enjoy this 30 year what happened and where did you go? Okay, thank you. Welcome. We will serve you to this.
CICC uh, in Japan. Um, this is really good luck for me because uh, we have a quite big, I can say that it's a mega project that we can make up for most of the projects from uh, supported by Japanese government uh, to develop the digital translation for five languages. And uh, this is my first time to uh, get involved in uh, NLP or digital translation research. And the second period, this is my long period, 10 years, uh, together with NECTEC, and also uh, to conclude my study in PhD at Tokyo Tech. And then this, the third period is that uh, I established a laboratory, this is a laboratory, supported by NICT uh, Japan. It is a uh, quite uh, a compact research center, and uh, we have quite a strong uh, focusing on the Thai uh, research uh, of uh, the Thai language. And then come back to Big Tech again in the fourth period. And now we have uh, SIDT. Uh, this is the uh, uh, citation per year um, start, uh, aligned with my um, timeline. I think because of Google Scholar citation, he started, he started counting from 1996. So I just have this gap that I can switch back to my citation papers, uh, citation index. You see that, uh, yeah, uh, following the research and the papers coming up and year by year, then we have to see that uh, number of citation papers going up after uh, doing research. So I would like to uh, encourage the young researchers, uh, starting from ISIDE. Uh, actually, my research paper, my first research paper is dissertation. Uh, in SNL, SNL in 1993. So, uh, the young researcher today, you give your talk, your presentation, <laughs> and aiming at another 29 years older than that of your career. Um, in the circle 1993, this is the first SNL, SNLB. 1995, 97, and skip one year to 2000. Uh, 2002, 05, 07, 09, 011, 011, 13, 15, and today, 17. This is a long time series of SRLP uh, symposium. So thanks to I think because of a lot of effort from Professor Tanara that kind of keep continuing uh, this kind of activities in Thailand. And uh, I really appreciate uh, this kind of effort and I want the young newcomers uh, to strongly follow this kind of uh, cultures and keep going on uh, small communities in doing research, especially for the Thai language. Okay, then uh, following uh, what the task is in, uh, in five years, um, the, the tough time, the, the most tough time for me is when an engineer develops a grammar for the Thai language. So you can feel that that strong resistance from the professional linguistic professionals. So I will show you some uh, some tough time, what I have done, what I have to push uh, on designing which is translation, designing uh, vocabulary, uh, dictionary, and also which is translation system to define. So um, here is the uh, output all the way during the period of working with the machine translation. I have to design the font. What is that font? Draw. <laughs> I have to draw the font by, by myself. I have to assign an encoding system for Thai language on the system. Input method, adult speech, dictionary, word pattern, grammar, and finally develop the machine translation. So, um, you don't believe me, I think, because my history or my um, study in the court about the Thai language, I never get A. <laughs> I don't know Thai, um, really. So I have to restart myself when I participate in this translation. So this is the first difficult thing in uh, processing, uh, to process, uh, to, uh, process, to process the Thai language. Um, we are not so logical. <laughs> we are not so logical in Thai. Um, we, we pronounce uh, the letter not in a natural way. We have the P position, uh, we put vowel sign, right? We have, uh, this is the P, P position, vowel sign. 
this is really uh, a, a really high value uh, to language processing or text input for Thai language. You may not feel like this today because of your uh, senior work really hard to put this kind of basic design in the Linux or Windows operating system also. So um, I have to collect collation of because I have to do the collation uh, or sorting. This is a big problem to solve it. And the, the, pre, the original sorting uh, work to clear the dictionary. Uh, you can see that this uh, this one maybe uh, together with uh, really really uh, uh, the last part of the dictionary because it's a little bit this far side okay. because the last e table the bar size uh, the fine of the uh, ASCII table so it is not so proper because we we pronounce by uh, the consonant okay so we have to do some trick uh, switch uh, switch the position of the bar size. Uh, with, the, uh, with the main concept. So this is one trick that we have done uh, to solve the Thai language. And then we can, we, we can sort into the logical, logical way. Uh, we can do uh, graphic tooling, color uh, spelling to the pronunciation. So we can solve so many problems that we can do the digital representation of Thai uh, And the second thing, we have um, it is not what we, we don't get what we see huh? <laughs> because um, we see in this position okay, with the tiny display, but it is not so solid to store in this way. Okay? There are seven collectors. This is another big problem to do with segmentation or layout uh, to do graphic, text graphic. Okay? Uh, because uh, actually, this is not my, my problem. I, I, the next problem. I have to draw machine translation, but this is a very annoying problem for Thai input and also the display. It is not so professional to display Thai text in this way. Right? So how can I put this small collector on top of the constant, also the underneath of the constant? Uh, actually, we have this uh, four levels, one, two, five. Uh, we have this line here, uh, four level constant in the middle, and most of the low side, up to the low side, low low side, and the top of So, uh, in this layout, how can we uh, put the character in the way that we, we see on the display and handle the text? So, we tell you what is my next trick, uh, next trick to do uh, with this. Because it is um, the machine translation, we do not have a unit machine. Uh, we don't have any support, uh, like Windows, uh, also the text code, so, uh, because of uh, this, for example, this word, uh, it is stored in this way. Uh, we have uh, this character, second character, and the third vowel sign, and the also tone mark in this sequence. So, it is very really hard uh, to do graphic or to do segmentation. Because it, can, it's kind of, it is not allowed to do the segmentation around here or wrap the text in this position. Uh, this is so strange if you have vowel sign in the next. Uh, the first uh, letter on the next line. So what I what I did, I used two by code, uh, two by code, because it is the beginning of the unit code expression in the uh, Unix machine. So it's very really lucky for me that most of the basic uh, library that can handle a two by code uh, for the internal of Unix interface. So I, I redesigned uh, this uh, internal code expression into two by code. I call it X. TIS 620. Uh, the setup is TIS 620, Thai industrial setup, the coding system. But this is X extension. <laughs> I do this X for the Thai extension. So I redefine the second byte of each uh, collector in, in terms of sale, uh, designed as a sale, because it is unsellable uh, collectors uh, on top of this one. I got a good hint from Hangul, the Korean language. You can imagine that Korean language has so called, maybe uh, horizon, horizon, vertical line, that has so long uh, line. They compose into one character, they put 
components of the character or syllable. Okay. I, I, because I have a flame, a Korean flame, it told me that how Hangul uh, did the input and how they combine into the next character. So I, I, I use this hint to design uh, the functional time encoding system. So in this case, I use the second byte to express the vowel sign and also the tonal mark. Uh, we have uh, eight bit, right? And we can use up to seven bit. So I divide into the eight, five bit and the three, uh, three bit. Uh, because the first bit is the uh, flag, right? the zero and one. So the second byte, uh, we can use only uh, seven bit. But luckily, I can do it. <laughs> I can design uh, the upper lower sign uh, to to be completed into the second byte. So this is uh, how can I handle uh, uh, the internal expression in the on the proper way. So whatever the terminal, the dumb terminal can display without any annoying uh, display. Uh, we never have seen the uh, the vowel sign in the next uh, line. So we can at least uh, uh, this uh, collector will be uh, in the next line. So uh, by this expression. Uh, I have to prepare about 1,000 code points uh, to, to store or to make this kind of uh, composition. And then I can do uh, the kerning, right? the kerning and rendering, because of uh, tonal mark, if we don't have a vowel sign, we have to lower the tonal mark a little bit. A professional display, right? I did it professionally. I don't want to uh, 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 fly tonal mark. I have to uh, uh, lower tonal mark in the proper position. So I can do it by the, by this effort. I I, pre, I design the pre encoding and then lower the tonal mark in case that we don't have the upper vowel sign. So the display is very professional, right? <laughs> so this is a very good trick. Yeah? When you have uh, this kind of internal expression, I can do the kerning and then the system. And also the down terminal wrapping uh, looks so not so funny right? because uh, it's not it's not this kind of expression. And also a uh, cursor positioning. Some of you, if you are the previous, the original uh, one, uh, computer users, when you uh, uh, move the cursor, sometimes you have to click more than one time huh, to, meet, to, to move the cell because the internal expression is differently from what we see. Uh, you have to move maybe move a uh, couple of vowel side to one side without moving the cursor. Okay. When, you, when I express in this way, I can move very naturally. Uh, move the cursor really naturally. And yeah, this is the base concept of TCC, we call it the tying collector cluster. This is not actually the cluster, but I will tell you how I can I change this concept into the tie collector cluster. So I found that um, not all position that we can uh, make the segmentation, and also not all possible uh, Position in the in the cell can be separated as a, a meaningful combination of pronunciation because of uh, the preposition uh, vowel sign or postposition vowel sign that cannot stand alone, right? So by these rules, I use this rule base: uh, preposition vowel sign composed with some following character or consonant. And for pos uh, postposition vowel sign, we have the p uh, consonant. Plus some uh, following vowel sign. So this group of character cannot stand alone, cannot display alone. So they have to compose with some uh, characters or some uh, consonant. Uh, as well as the upper lower uh, sound killer, like this galan, and compound uh, vowel, leading character, and deep throat. Well, these are the, the Thai language characteristics that I have, they can compose into the smallest units that we can uh, divide uh, in Thai language. So because we have a lot of problem with the segmentation, this is a, a, a problem in agreement with the human uh, judge. So we cannot do 100% of the segmentation. And also, not in the same time, we cannot do the syllable segmentation 100% correctly. But for TCC, we can do it 100% correctly, uh, agree with the uh, our human judge. So this is the best way to separate the possible position for the segmentation. By doing this, we can reduce many, many possibilities uh, of the combination of the segmentation because of this kind of uh, reducing uh, the possible position for our segmentation. So by 
observing, uh, I increasing the correct the character because of when you increase the one character each, the possibilities of following character is reduced, right? Because of the length of the characters can constrain the following characters. So I can show into some statistical uh, result. This is a possible word. So this is the count. This is the difference between the uh, what, the, the count and the next count. You see that uh, by judging the Thai character uh, TCC, when I increase character by character, or uh, TCC by TCC, and then we found, I also found that when I increase into a proper possible way, the frequency will drop. Okay, we, we drop very significantly. So this means that it is a possible word boundary. Uh, because if it is a word, it's more likely to occur several times. But if you include something that not not the possible position to to segment the word, so the, the possibilities of reducing of the frequency will be lower than uh, the possible word boundary. So this is another hint for me to do um, word processing without word segmentation. Because we have a lot of problems with word segmentation. So this is a good, good significant uh, data to tell you that these three points are the possible word segmentation compared to others, right? So these are not different between uh, these terms and this term because this is not the possible word boundary. Okay, this is another hint that I can do um, word candidate without word segmentation. So we combining TCC and the skipping of the engram or the characters, I can find the possible uh, word boundary to segment. Then as a result, um, I did some implementation of this encoding for the, they call the title. term. This is my name because uh, we have X term, if you use Unix or uh, Linux, you know that we, we have X term, we have multilingual ML term. So I, 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 tell, I, I, I assign this as a T term. I use uh, this encoding system for uh, T term development. And then I designed the font uh, in, in the uh, national font projects. This is one of them that I, I make a, a design of Thai font called Normalizing Font. And uh, to clear without the, uh, with the uh, problems of input system, character encoding, the next problem for me uh, to do, uh, to develop was uh, machine translation is a part of speech. Until that time, we have a really small set of part of speech following the English grammar. We have only main uh, part of speech, like now, verb, adverb, adjective, well, interjection, negation, just some part of the uh, part of speech. It is not enough for a machine to identify the differences between the part of speech or clear the pattern. So I have to work on this again. Uh, because I, I don't have much uh, knowledge about Thai, uh, uh, Thai language. But anyway, um, looking at um, the collect characteristic or some hint uh, uh, to divide or to classify the word according to the, to the position, the possible positioning in, in the sentence. Because in, in Thai sentence, we have really freely uh, uh, positioning the word in the, in, the, in the sentence. But however, uh, in the phrase, we can uh, give some possible position in the phrase. Uh, because of when we put, we put some negation, some negation come before some verb or after some auxiliary verb. So we, I, can, I can use this hint uh, to define the subset called the subcategory of the part of speech. So it's extended from maybe 16 categories or 40 categories up to 70 subcategories. So this is the basic uh, part of speech design that I can uh, use or implement in machine translation. And behind, behind the, the problem behind this kind of um, what, categorization, I have a big problem in verb, in Thai verb. Because Thai verb can can be any any of what? Transition, uh, transitive verb, intransitive verb, bitransitive verb, we don't care. <laughs> because a lot of omission. You, they are all can be transitive verb, they are all can be intransitive verb. 
get really hard. Uh, so it is not possible to allow uh, lexicon um, to design the part of speech for each word. So I, uh, in, instead of uh, separate or classify the verb into uh, ordinary, the uh, transitive verb, intransitive verb, or bitransitive verb, I use uh, semantic, uh, action verb, st static verb, and attributive verb. Because we design the machine translation by using interlingual. We use semantic representation, so the unuseful information, we don't, we don't need the unuseful information. So we use this kind of semantic information uh, to identify the position of the verb or the argument that a verb can take in the machine translation. So this is another a big change of the type uh, part of speech. Um, uh, sure, a lot of linguists don't agree with me. <laughs> a lot of linguists don't agree with me. But I, I prove that this kind of uh, subcategorization can help in doing a part of speech tagging or machine translation, so we do many things also. And uh, I talk about all Zika level and uh, some problem in the sentence and now phrase because there are no difference in expression uh, in, the, in, the, in the sequence. So, um, preparing the, character, the characters, uh, preparing the input system, display a part of speech, these are the basic modules that I have to prepare before starting the machine translation project. So that's become a multilingual machine translation project that I participated in in 1987 until 1992. It's a very long time uh, period, big mega project. Uh, I was lucky because um, I, I was invited by uh, NEC uh, Japan uh, to participate in this project during this time. And there are so many uh, researchers and outstanding researchers from many like uh, uh, countries to participate. We have uh, China, Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, and Thailand. Okay. So this is a quite a big project to develop. Uh, text analysis, text generation, dictionary, interlingual, and uh, finally the integration system to uh, display the machine translation uh, performance. So in Thailand, there are so many uh, organizations, Nectech, Jula, Lumpur University, Kassessa University, KMIUTT, KMITL. And many big companies uh, from Japan participated in these uh, uh, projects. So this is a part of the series of the natural language processing in Thailand. Uh, I, I check, uh, it started from 1969. 69, uh, we have the design, the alphabeticalization of Thai and uh, transliteration, Alina project, uh, Thai and uh, Thailand and France, uh, the collaboration projects to develop the English Thai using translation. And then 1986, the switchment of MECTEC, uh, announcement of Thai character code, uh, then uh, this machine translation projects. And then after this, there are a big effort uh, to start the NLP activities. Thailand. I don't know whether you are familiar with this kind of uh, names or not. Uh, you, you know Kai, uh, led by Ajatanara, uh, SIT. We have KMIT, KMITT, AI RD Center, and NICE from Kassessa University. NECTEC, I led the RDI, and also uh, speech language uh, at Chulangwa uh, University. So there are many, many laboratories after these uh, big projects. So this is the collaboration among, uh, thanks to uh, Japanese government a lot. Uh, they spend a lot of money. <laughs> they spend really, really huge money to support uh, this kind of research and development. And um, it's even on the participants, uh, the country participant at the time. Because to me, I, I represent Japan some time, I represent Thailand some time. So I don't want to waste the money. Right? This is huge money. So I want to leave something for maybe one of you uh, here. Um, so I educate, I do some education. I prepare, uh, one of the most important things is the corpus. The corpus. Until now, you can do uh, research because of the corpus and the dictionary. And uh, yeah, I, I, I also I think that the NECTEC now have a good movement uh, to create uh, 
some consortium that we will develop the, the focus all together. This is get more and more important because of the deep learning, some uh, some good opportunity that can use a lot of data uh, to train the model. So we need a huge um, uh, large of, um, quantities of those. This is the the outline of interlingo. If you are not familiar with, I'm a little afraid because of the advancement of uh, deep learning. Maybe none of you are uh, so interested in natural language processing, really, in theory coding, or uh, representation, meaning representation. So I, I, I want to draw some of, your, some of your attention to the semantic representation or NLP background that can help you to interpret the result of uh, neural uh, network or the deep learning uh, trained model. So this is the, the work that we have done uh, to discuss so far to analyze uh, one language into the individual um, common <coughs> language and then uh, translate it into another language. So this kind of um, knowledge representation, how can we uh, define, define uh, the, the sentence into meaning and how to change the meaning to another language. That is the first period of my getting uh, study the, the research. And then I, I came back to NECTEC in 1993 to start the laboratory after participating with uh, Japan for some years. Um, it is the allies of application. In Thailand, we need something concrete, a tangible thing, uh, the application. So I, I changed uh, the, the, the result of she method of natural language processing, a machine translation project into applications and services. I will give you some idea back in the background of the Lexicon, Thai Lawyer Institute, Dictionary, Easy Key, Pass It, and Sansa. These are some part of my works uh, at Nectar. So these are the timeline of all achievements that I have. I, I don't think that we are all familiar with this list. Maybe Nectar guys can understand it, but not all of you. So actually, after coming back to Thailand, uh, from Japan, I, I, I started seriously uh, to make the implementation of the result that I have done in Japan. Um, so you can see that several things have been launched uh, time, uh, time after time. Um, we have SmartQ, Sansan, PCQ, Parsit, Monkey, Anti, and we'll give you some more for later. <laughs> have you ever seen this package, this box? Uh, this is my first product, <laughs> my first product. I, I, I have to give the idea, the design of the box, design of cd rom design of the software also. So, um, because engineers are so lazy, <laughs> so lazy to, to, uh, to look into uh, the text, to look into the linguistics problem, to define the terms, uh, uh, so it is not um, more compatible with uh, linguistics or the professional dictionary makers. So what I have done, um, I call it corpus space dictionary. At the time, this is really really um, well, fun to get research how to create the corpus space dictionary because it is not our role to sit down and define the word. We are we are not linguists. We are not the professional in defining word. Even I cannot write a proper Thai language. I cannot do that. So I use some tools uh, to crawl the text from the internet. Uh, at the time, not so many. Uh, but however, we can collect some words from or some some pages from the internet and create the corpus. Because I think that we don't have to define the or to make to give definition to each word. But instead, we can give the sample sentence to explain the meaning, right? You, you know the, the, the meaning by the context. So if we can extract some sample or the completed of the sample, then um, we can uh, clear the corpus based dictionary without any definition. So um, so we start this corpus based dictionary and then we find that dictionary for writing. <laughs> dictionary for writing. Because um, um, you need some good example, a case, uh, to write your text. So if we can collect 
uh, the proper sentence from the internet, and then we can uh, write uh, the sentence by using that word in the proper terms. So it's launched in 1995, okay, this small set of the entries, but uh, comparing to the Thai Loyal Institute Dictionary. Thai Loyal Institute Dictionary at the time, we call it 2525, what year is it? 2525. Um, there are about 30,000 words, 30,000 words. But half of them are obsolete. The, the, the old word, we don't use it. So we have to, 10,000 10, words is not enough for us. So we have to uh, use uh, the, the, what, to have the tools uh, to collect um, the modems or uh, the current use of the terms. So that's why we uh, recreate the dictionary by using the corpus and also define it as a dictionary for writing. So this is a good pattern for doing uh, machine translation as well because it is the pattern of the, uh, the, the, the word. This is the examples, uh, the, the, the samples of the interface for Thai Loyal Institute Dictionary. So very really lucky, uh, when we did uh, Lexitron, I have some opportunity to talk with the Thai Loyal Institute because we need some standard. Right? Um, we can do it engineering, but we need some standard uh, to support our, our uh, terms, the basic terms. So I, I volunteer. Uh, with our team volunteer to work uh, the dictionary for Thai Loyal Institute Dictionary. This is now this is really important uh, the interface at the time uh, really, really important and we successfully collect all um, the uh, last bit years of time dictionary and prepare this uh, electronic form because they are Thai Loyal Institute they want the display in the proper way you see they want it map huh? they collect it map. And the uh, italic font, um, bold font for uh, the part of speech for the entry words. So this is a big constraint uh, for us uh, to design this kind of interface. Uh, by this, as a result, I have a collection of Blasphemy uh, dictionary in electronic form. So by using this one, I can extend uh, the word extraction or uh, segmentation or what completion uh, tools when we have uh, more and more uh, terms and dictionary. Then I, I tell you that uh, because we have to extend our research um, after building uh, the dictionary and have, it's time to clear the corpus. Uh, it takes a lot of time to convince the owner, the text owner uh, to contribute the text, original text for research. Uh, I cannot I, I talk with a lot of newspapers, publishers, a lot of books, publishers, but none of them agree <laughs> to distribute their uh, original text. Finally, I use the NECTEC technical report. It is not so good text, but anyway, uh, we have something that can uh, study um, the pattern and the word segmentation and the power speech of the, of the text. So we use the Thai technical, uh, technical report written by engineer. So it's not good Thai at all, but uh, at least we can have some pattern. So this is the, the, the orchid corpus that I uh, initiated, initiated this project with uh, Japanese supported by uh, CIL, clearly it is an ICT, uh, uh, CIL in 1979. So, uh, we have some words and have XML tag. But it's still very hard uh, to get consensus among Thai uh, annotators because of the term of the segmentation, part of speech assignment, and a lot of um, what, ungrammatical sentence because this is a technical report, uh, not so gra not 100% not grammatical text. Uh, but anyway, we can uh, do some cleanup, and uh, this is one of the best, uh, best uh, corpus for uh, our, our research today. And uh, extending to dictionary now, it's time to release the English to Thai machine translation from the interlingual approach. So I working with NDC uh, because of the project didn't include a dictionary uh, English uh, language at the time. So I have to ask uh, the English part 
from the NEC company uh, to provide that part uh, for me to um, rearrange our machine translation projects uh, to to uh, what, to to launch the web-based English to time machine translation. Okay. Uh, because of uh, integral uh, approach, so we I can uh, what, easily uh, to recombine the modules uh, to launch the uh, English to time machine translation. So don't ask me uh, why don't I release the Thai to English machine translation. Um, do you know the reason why don't I work on Thai English machine translation at that time? Not exactly, but again, it's about accuracy. Yeah, it is also difficult to analyze Thai. <laughs> it's also a grammatical um, a sentence, or we don't. We have a lot of problems. We don't have sentence boundary. <laughs> the first difficult thing is how to segment sentence, and and also a lot of. of of the gate of omission or some um, topicalization. So it is very hard to analyze time. Not possible at, at a time. So I select to do uh, English to time, machine translation. But when I, I give the news uh, release or uh, give the, what, um, into, uh, respond to the interview, newspaper interviews, I don't say it like this. Huh? I say that because there are a lot of information in English. This is in English. So I have to translate in, uh, a large information in English to Thai <laughs> so that they agree. <laughs> they don't know what, what is the <laughs> reason behind why I don't develop Thai to English but in translation at the time. <laughs> and after that, or oh, several things occur. Uh, I, very, I, very exciting. Huh? We can do machine translation, we can do word segmentation, uh, we can do uh, the well, topos space dictionary. And after finding that, it is not possible to do 100% word segmentation. Uh, this is the really, really big challenge. How can we develop a uh, search engine without knowing uh, a proper uh, word boundary? So we found that uh, we don't use, uh, as I introduced to you, I don't use any uh, dictionary to do word segmentation. But I can calculate the possible, possible uh, what, boundary uh, to do uh, with segmentation. So we introduced the machine learning uh, algorithm. Uh, we call it uh, C4.5. It's quite old today, yeah? but this is a very good tool so that you can design how how to uh, handle the possible with segmentation. I have two big hints. Yeah? One is the mutual information. Yeah? If you have um, the string that can combine uh, together, that will go together. Uh, instead of uh, separating into the, 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 the words. And another one is the right and right, left and right entropy. That is the curiosity of the terms. Okay? So these two features can help you to define, um, to define whether it is the good uh, candidate for word segmentation or not. Then come up with the word Sansar. The original version of Sansar developed by using uh, the possibilities of the word boundary instead of word segmentation today. I think uh, today uh, they are using word segmentation uh, to do the indexing. But uh, it's, it is still need a lot of uh, what resource, computational resource, real time, uh, to understand, uh, to compute the entropy and also the mutual information. And then, yeah, because of the time, this is the uh, well, Italy to ask you who you who understand this kind of words or this kind of terms. I know that by understanding because I talked about this uh, uh, this term before. Lexitron, uh, because of thinking of some some good brand uh, for the uh, the system or the product that you develop. Lexitron comes from lexicon plus electron. Uh, lexicon in terms of electron, so. Um, I, I, I can tell this at uh, Lexitron. Anybody, anybody knows what it pass it? How pass it? It's pass it. Pass it, huh? Okay, do you know this talk before? Uh, I, 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 this is an English language, but I want to spell it in Thai. Right? So, pass it, that is to pass the language to pass the sentence. Uh, it's really coincident with Thai word then pass it. So, this is the name of pass it. But I don't. Know, I don't think that you know orchid. Anybody know why I I made uh, the corpus the orchid? Well, 
Chichi, yeah, we do on the reason. But actually, it is the Japanese translation. We call it Lan. Lan is my daughter's name. <laughs> 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 the other is like, I have a daughter, so the Corpus is the name. Okay. This is Japanese name. Yes. And Sansa, we have the frog as a logo. Japanese guy, we understand why I use the frog as a logo. Because frog, it's in Japanese, is the kai, kai, fuku kai, uh, the details of happiness. And my host in Japan, uh, they collect uh, the frog uh, items. They, they like frog very much because this is the details of the happiness. So I use uh, frog as the happiness collection. Information to Trivial search engine, so this is the, 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 the logo of the Sansan. And uh, TLE, uh, Tele, I, call, I pronounce it as Tele. This comes from Thai language extension. So, this is the, the name behind. From go to the sea of Japan. Yeah. <laughs> and there are so many other uh, 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 selections of the terms and the uh, uh, icon. So, these are uh, some of the achievements that have been in 10 years with the cake. I think I don't have uh, much time to go, but I will go more quickly. Huh? Uh, uh, the third period, huh? working at uh, uh, in the lab, Thai computational, Thai computational linguistics lab uh, at NICT. This is also uh, short terms, huh? although I have to uh, collect and produce so many research in really short term. Uh, mainly, I did um, what, uh, training, I called it ADD. Uh, Asian apply NLP. I, I organized uh, NLP for Asian uh, uh, colleagues uh, every year, and uh, the biggest one is the Asian WordNet. Uh, how to develop uh, the WordNet? How to translate uh, WordNet into Thai uh, WordNet? I will skip this one. Uh, this is uh, the way that I make uh, Thai WordNet automatically, semi automatically, uh, by using the hint of the synonym. I, I know that uh, this is a synonym for Thai because the word that used the synonym, synset, right? the set of synonym to express the meaning. So I translate or combine or make a alignment between the Thai word and the English word by using the synonym. Um, sometimes we have a good translation and sometimes we have another translation. So this translation, English translation, can find the English candidates of synonym. And then the intersection of the translation can be, can can provide the best target of the uh, synset uh, for the Thai word. And this is the second case. If you cannot find uh, for uh, for the first English translation, you can find another uh, Thai Thai synonym to find another English translation. So this is another good hint uh, to find another candidate for align with the uh, 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 word name. And this is uh, one obsolete uh, technical term. Usually, they have only one translation. And for as a default, we don't have a good hint. Uh, just link it to all. So by this algorithm, I can automatically clear Thai word, Thai word name. And also, I did it for many other Asian languages and named it as the Asian word net. And uh, several colleagues from Myanmar, from Indonesia. Japan, Korea, Laos, Mongolia, Nepal, Sinhala, Sudanese, and Thai. We have this kind of uh, collections of uh, Asian wordnets at the time by using the similar tools to align the existing uh, uh, their, their language with the English language. And uh, come back to NECTEC. And so, crazy with the digitization. So, I started uh, Digitize Thailand. Uh, project to clear the platform uh, for all the uh, text information. And um, the most important thing, how can we extract the meaning of semantics from the Thai text or the dig digitized uh, uh, collection? Um, I can, fi I can uh, find that the word keyword extraction and semantic relations are two key important research issues. I found that some, there are some, some research papers on this topic. I really wanted to support uh, 
for you to encourage you to do more research in these two areas, uh, the keyword extraction and semantic related extraction. Why? One of the approach we call it link data. Right? Because we cannot summarize or extract the full or semantic from the text. Right? So at least if we know some keywords inside the text and find some semantic relation between them. Okay? We can clear the triple, right? the triples of the link data we call it. This is the entry, word entry, a keyword, and uh, related to another keyword semantically. So we can uh, well, um, shallow uh, to do the shallow passing and clear the sum summarization text by using this triple expression. And I did it for uh, Ministry of Culture database. We have this collection and use this approach and uh, extract uh, these triples from the text. Then I can clear automatically clear the info box for the cultural uh, database. And then link it into the knowledge map because of the, the relationship between the semantic or keywords among the records. So it can be uh, networking uh, to, do, uh, to clear the knowledge map among them. So then you can travel all the information about uh, the, the, the cultural database about this approach. This is not so uh, well accurate, but somehow it can be uh, implemented and also extract some some summary or info box of this kind of uh, record. Then uh, come to the digital Thailand. Um, I I dream a lot uh, to extend uh, the research and correlate with others areas. I have some colleagues in the north, digital Lana and Isan colleagues, and uh, this is the main in, in the Bangkok areas. So. Um, each will provide the contents, the digital digitized contents, and delete to each other uh, to create the platform um, for Thailand. And uh, this is the, the well, extreme goal uh, to digitize uh, the contents. Um, I, I estimate that there should be some uh, this full step uh, to accumulate the content, clear the knowledge, understand the knowledge, understand the input uh, content and then clear the problem solving uh, in final. So this will be the fourth step uh, to go ahead uh, to understand uh, and solve the problems in terms of uh, cyberspace. And in the final period today, what I'm going to do? <laughs> what I'm going to do? Data, data, data. Data, please. Uh, um, we, don't, we cannot develop or do a big research comparing to Google, Facebook, because they have a lot, huh? they are huge, we cannot compare with them. How can we um, work uh, or do research with, uh, for our content? We need data, right? open data. So, um, yeah, the technology developed and we write less. Huh? We have, uh, what we did, we invented a printing machine, we have a book, and then we come with the email, uh, tweeters, and the, 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 the more developed in the technology, the less the text that we, we, we write, huh? the, the shortest. Huh? Uh, but how can we understand the, the short uh, text uh, in terms of uh, social media? Okay. Um, somebody said that in now we need a big data. Right? We need huge data to analyze, to create the models from, from the text. But at the same time, big data need in our view. As I told you, uh, because um, we did a lot in terms of uh, text analysis, but um, don't don't go away, don't go across the natural language processing uh, knowledge um, because of uh, some some knowledge will help you to understand uh, the text better than uh, just the, uh, uh, well, analyze uh, the text in terms of statistical approach. And from this data, you can collect from social medias and uh, a lot of uh, text that have been uh, collected in the platform. And actually, this is the last slide. Uh, this by Tim Berners-Lee. Uh, I hope we will use the net to cross barriers, connect the cultures. Uh, finally, we are connected. We are connected. How can we understand each other? How can we cross barriers and understand uh, the mind cultures? So I would like to promote uh, NLP, Big Data, Deep Learning, Social Computing, IoT, and AI, IBM. So 
then enjoy our next step of the uh, research, or next next era of the research. So we need the collaboration, challenge, and um, uh, understanding uh, the text at the same time. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Very interesting talk. Any question, comment, please? Okay, please. <laughs> okay, thank you for your very impressive talk. And now I think that uh, all the audience now understands that uh, most of the NLP research in Thailand is actually just on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, uh, the newer research should go out of your hand to make a big progress. And the, according to my understanding, one of the very big success in your whole research is actually not only about your hard work, but also the intense observation of the data. So the intense observation of the data will hint you some ideas, and after that, a uh, lot of hard work, you made a lot of achievement. So now, uh, could you give us some sort of advice for the future study on what's the most important point in the NLP research here from now on? Yes. Like one of the, the uh, must do, right? I think must do for researchers. Keep talking. <laughs> Keep talking. I, could, I got a lot of heat by talking informally. The coffee break or any chat, chit chat. So these are, um, um, now today we have a lot of online chat. Right? <laughs> um, but we observe, you have to observe, right? observe the, what, uh, some, some attractive uh, chatting or uh, some good hint. So, uh, can, so many achievements I have done, not by myself, by something that I communicate with others, or listen to Saki Saka Sensei talk today, I also have another hit. <laughs> so keep talking and uh, exchange your idea, and uh, uh, you can get a good hit uh, uh, to do uh, the research. That is one thing. And um, another thing is the sharing. Don't forget to share. Uh, to share your results or look ahead for for better uh, research environment. So that's why I like I encourage uh, the newcomers. Uh, um, actually, it was very really <coughs> fortunate uh, uh, time when I start my research, and uh, we have a web internet protocols, and we have a website to promote or to do our research collection. So I started uh, to collect my research from the first paper until now. 29 years, huh? I've I been collect, collecting my research paper and achievement, presentation, and talk. So these can be a good um, resources for newcomers, uh, researchers. And, uh, and, uh, then you can step up uh, on the giant shoulders. Right? You can step up on the giant shoulders. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, any question? Come in, please. Yeah, I, I listen to your talk and then it's a play, I see a movie that I know only some part that we be together, I know only some part. But then today I can make a, the complete tick song. Um, I remember that we meet together in 1996 at Colin at that time. It was really busy. Yeah, and for me, I, I, I feel like the what I also concern with what's going on in the next step. Because up to now, I think you, you did a lot of job related to the fundamental, like the keyboard or the searching, blah, blah, blah. And I, the next step that make our society or NLP become well known in all. For example, the Google now searching, they can do better than we have done before. And what, what should we do in order to stay in this kind of data? <laughs> very, very difficult. Yeah. Uh, because we have to fight with the giant. <laughs> we cannot fight alone. We cannot fight individuals. To win the game, we need a war. Really. We have to work seriously. Yes, I will just talk to you. Now we have to work more and more seriously. I I started my work. Uh, it's very tough. Uh, 
what it looked like today. <laughs> I have to uh, almost more than 10 hours a day uh, to work. Uh, compared to today, I don't know. Yes. This, <laughs> a lot of uh, students or uh, yeah, researchers, they, they, they do smart. Some people want to work smart. Mm -hmm. uh, do less for more. <laughs> I usually told my colleagues that not do less for more. We need to do more for more and more. <laughs> we, now we do really few, really little. We have to do more for more and more. Uh, not do less. We, we cannot uh, but, uh, relax or uh, to fight with giant like Google's, Facebook, Twitter's. We need uh, a lot of power. And also, you cannot do it purely. Uh, please share. Share your idea, share your resources. Don't hold the thing together uh, to make you better by holding things. We are not still at that. We don't want our colleagues to be better than us in, in the grade by not showing them or telling them what is the solution. That is we explain even they are students. Huh? But now we are the researchers. Huh? We have to do work together for more and more. Otherwise we cannot compete with a big giant like Google or Twitter. Thank you. Yes, please. <laughs> Thanks so much for a nice, nice uh, talk and also the conversation. That um, I, every time I come to this country, I visit you. Every time I get some energy from you, and uh, as you just described in the, the final discussion that we had, um, I agree. You now uh, to work together and to communicate with each other brings a new thing. And uh, as you just mentioned, we are doing those tiny things. As I remind me, that reminds me of the one place that I got uh, from uh, Sir um, Isaac Newton is saying that if they are simply, uh, we are simply the, the, the uh, child, uh, just uh, enjoying uh, the sh seashore and the whole the truth of the ocean is in front of us. And just uh, thinking about all things, uh, so far you're devoting your life most of the things that you have to do. And, and really admire your steps and also the very general view of attacking all those things in a very, how can I say, very uh, natural way. And uh, the thing that I really want to know and also like share is uh, from that viewpoint that, uh, that there's still existing the old uh, uh, knowledge, like uh, linguistics or some other fields. And uh, definitely those are the good things that we could inherit in some way. And we are definitely uh, improving these kind of things ahead. But considering that some harmoniously uh, work together with this kind of the, uh, outside uh, knowledge, in particular for my case, I'm, I'm now in the uh, situation of working together with mathematicians. <laughs> And it's really hard to sometimes even to communicate or share the values. And that may happen in our field. So uh, how, how do you think that you can suffer you the person who is really living uh, their life? I'm, I'm slightly betting to all the sort of conversation the imaginary field. <laughs> so how we can adjust this kind of, you know, the different values, different way of doing and thinking? Uh, I really hope that you could say something about it. <laughs> really, the most important uh, but difficult part of my life. Because I uh, am mechanical engineering, back, my background, mechanical engineering. And I, I have to work with linguists uh, to develop machine translation. It is really hard to convince linguists in terms of uh, what language itself. I'm not the expert. Uh, um, yeah, it is very difficult, but we need to hear from them. Uh, this, Hear from them what uh, they are thinking, and um, then confidence. We have to to raise your confidence on on what you are thinking. Look, look ahead and make it give you confidence. Then you may propose, you may propose, and you may collect a lot of ink <laughs> from the linguist <laughs> after that. Um, yeah, I I also have a hard time when I I will. Uh, Machine translation or NLP. Um, so to prove, uh, to prove or provide some good tools back to that communities. Okay, you hear from them. You know their needs. They know their perspective. 
but you, you, because of your condition are different from them, you have to develop, develop something systematically, not human, humanly, uh, something that a uh, system can work. So we have to satisfy something, like a human mood or uh, some mood information. Uh, so um, to work with them or work with another um, communities uh, peacefully, you have to think something that to contribute back to them. Okay. So uh, <laughs> um, by this thing, I develop some interface for them. They, they, they need some concordance tool, for example, or some um, database or some search engine. So I, I can make this uh, kind of tools back to them or, or to, to contribute back to them. So I think this is one thing. Give a take. Uh, you you can you have to give a take uh, with them uh, to. To think uh, for them also, not not just for yourself. Uh, this and the and the second thing, and also the last um, joker that I will use. The last one. The last one. What is it? <laughs> 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 to uh, to unemploy <laughs> the linguist. <laughs> the one linguist that I uh, killed, I I get. About progress <laughs> because of a lot of discussion it takes a long time to convince you cannot convince all of them, but you have to sacrifice some, some time, you have to let them go. Let them go. <laughs> this is one, one way to make progress in what you confidence in. So you have to sacrifice. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't care which one I sacrifice during the time. <laughs> but they can know, I know. <laughs> Yeah, that is what uh, my, what uh, the trick in my experience. Okay, any other question? Okay, please. Yeah. Now, now, uh, uh, you work on the digital cluster. Do you say something related to the cluster or who everyone gather yeah. work together something? Yeah. Yeah, digital cluster. I, I'm now the. the Leaders of the digital cluster. Yeah, you are the leader of the digital cluster right now. Mm. I insist in this four waves. I, I, I draw this web 19, oh, 2009 at the time. I think we need to digitize or clear the cyberspace. Okay. Not just a road for the, the country to sell the car, not the communication line for us to buy smartphone, okay? not the internet for us to buy the computers. But we need, we need ourselves, huh? we need uh, what, the platform for ourselves. So I, I, I study uh, these figures uh, to provide uh, some tools or uh, what, some source of possible accumulating uh, the, the digital content. Okay, and with the digital content, if you don't understand them, it is nothing, just a raw data. So we need a good tools that can make the raw data in, in terms of knowledge, how to organize them in terms of uh, the knowledge base that can understand the new coming raw data. So then we come the third phase of the understanding. Okay? So the, anything, when you do the knowledge base, you have a new thing come in, then you can accurate into the knowledge if you understand it and increase the, the knowledge base. And finally, you can make problem solving. So this is the trend, the trend of digitization and the digital cyberspace. So I, I would like to encourage you. Um, you may enjoy, you may enjoy doing some research of the accumulating the data, clear the model, maybe expressing some uh, application or solution. But uh, finally, if you don't uh, prepare uh, the, the knowledge engineering, understanding, and solving the problem. So it seems like uh, you are preparing uh, some road or some telecommunication lines for somebody to sell you the telephone, telephone set, uh, I mean, or computer sets. So please uh, come up to prepare this kind of thing to uh, develop a better system uh, for the uh, uh, digital cyberspace. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. I think it's time for the session. So please keep hand to both sides.